Today is the first day of our 20 badges in 30 days challenge and it has been a crazy start. This trail is the hardest rated in Colorado for the Jeep badge trails. And in the rain, I don't know if we're gonna make it or not. We're gonna see, it's gonna be definitely a challenge. We started out the morning with losing our uh, drone remote thing. So we had to go on a big adventure to find that. So it's gonna be a crazy day, stick with us. Did you guys check in for the badge? We did. I did it yesterday. So if you don't know what a Jeep Badge of Honor trail is, there are basically, I think, 64 trails that Jeep has set aside that you can check in on your phone and you complete them and then you get these physical badges in the mail for free. And they have like an app you can get on there and rate the trails and kind of talk with the other people who are on that community. So. And I will say, already, right off the bat, guys, if you're planning on doing this trail, it is literally like a rock garden coming in. And most of the big knobby rocks are right where your oil pan is. And if you're somebody that does skids and stuff, you're pretty well protected. You want to be able to kind of straddle those rocks. There's some places you just can't. So don't think that you're going to come out here and straddle every rock because you are going to bump and rub on some things. Just sit back and follow my line and you'll be fine. <laughs> Stay out of there or you can have my old pants. <laughs> Big man. Damn right. I'm good. I'm good. Things are going well. <laughs> okay, just give me a second here, Blake. That was your uh, rear arm. go back and see the old boys that drove this in the gold rush up here the gold mining town. Yeah, I'm always curious about that same thing. Like, think about doing this 120 years ago. You're going to hit your tire on that side, passenger side. You're going to rub it. Yeah. Good? I think so. Vehicle, body, mechanical damage likely. So, I love it. It's exciting. That's my favorite. This is the the part that people have a lot of trouble on. Turn out this way and then hit it. Yep, I'm gonna try to go right up it like yeah. that. If you, the squarer you can hit this, the better. Be That's nice to have some spotters. Nice time for snow. <laughs>
Take the hardest line possible. I just want to take a straight line. I hate getting crooked. Yeah, I mean, what makes sense is the fact that the rocks on this side are rounded off. Yeah. Yeah, he needs to back up. Yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure from the videos I've seen and the things that I've read, that's one of the hardest obstacles on this thing. Only for back the tires. Oh. Blake, you're the one that said that was the line, man. Yeah, you're right. This really is terrifying, but it is so pretty out there. Guys, there's big giant moose tracks right here on the left. It looks like a cow. Down, a little more. 
Right. Passing her. Let's move it. Okay. Have to bump it over that one. Okay. Yo. Keep her moving. Yeah, baby. Good job. Hey. I opened my door and saw all this black. I thought it was black. You're good, man. You're good. All right. Yeah, baby. Look at the snow. I know, it's super thick. It's an 18 cent. Bent it. We have snow climbing up. Bent all the shit. Oh my god. Oh god. Look at that. not steering stabilized, right? What? <laughs> Look at that shit. Yeah. It'll yeah, straight, just leave it on it. It'll straight back out. Yeah, sure. Just back into something. It's seen better days. Like earlier this morning. I'm going to go ahead and say it. We're the first ones on this trail all year, I'm betting. You think so? Yep. Look at the snow drift. We're going to be driving. I want to know what that thing we just came up is going to be like going back down. Yes. It sounds to me like the momentum's going to do whatever it wants to you. Two tires is acceptable. Here's what I'll tell you, Blake. You can't break a stabilizing bar going down or shock. I think this is the only way to go. Get up this snow drift. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. I tried that snow drift a lot.
No, that's completely off in the creek. That's that's probably good right there. I can winch out on your shackle here. Slide it back in his river. Yeah. You're ripped off. You're not gonna go that far. Okay, hold on, hold on. Six right in. It ain't doing shit. Yep. Okay. I wonder if now you can maybe even back up. What? I wonder if we're gonna have a winch on the back again because we're really about to fall off the back. I'm about to just pour it right out that way. I just put the winch on you to secure your back end. down the ravine of all these mountains but this is where a lot of the snow drifts accumulate <laughs> on the trail but right up here it goes left and back up the other side of the mountain and there's road close signs on it and snow drift probably five feet deep so we made it past all the hard obstacles that everybody talks about online and literally it's just a straight shot of trail but there's snow drifts so if you come mid-june may have snow drifts maybe you won't so now we're gonna head back down probably think about dinner lick our wounds and fix Blake's gladiator because it's all jacked up. I have to say that felt pretty graceful considering what we just drove over. Yeah. Who wants to have some dipping dots? They're all over my hands. Mm. Look, you can just it catch them. nothing like dipping dots. See, it's water dipping dots. No! Dippin' nuts for yeah, everyone! Oh, so, yeah. It's like uh, bedtime stories. Uh, yeah, go on. Yeah, Dippin' dots! Watch your face. Feel the snow on your From skin. Mountain goat's ready to go. No one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it snow. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
Although we didn't make it to the city, we feel we completed the most treacherous parts of the trail. The snow drifts probably were passable. Matter of fact, the other guys in the other jeep explored on a little bit further, and they thought we could get through. But after a full day's riding on some pretty rough trails, Dad seemed like he was ready to get back. And to be quite frank, it seemed like Holly and Blake were ready to get back too. Bread back. Yeah. You want that? Yeah, ride the back. 